That right there is a 2019 Cadillac XTS 4. That was over $69,000 in 2019. Guess how much I paid for it? $400. It's crazy. Yes, $400. So in today's video, I'm gonna explain how the whole process worked. How did I get a 2019 Cadillac XTS 4 that was almost $70,000 for $400? This is an exciting one. This means I'm making progress in my flipping $400 to a Ferrari video. Things are about to get real. Also, it's sold. We made a little bit of money on it, so we're gonna go over the budget and see how much money we actually have to spend. Let's get going. So if you've been watching for a while, you may have noticed that my content or my stories or my editing or my filming has maybe improved slightly. Well, I did my research and learned how to improve my craft. Making better videos benefits both you as a viewer as well as myself and my channel. I always wanna keep improving, I wanna always keep growing, which is a perfect segue into today's video sponsor, Skillshare. So special thanks to Skillshare. This is my third time partnering with them in our videos. I just watched Sorel Amor's YouTube success, how to build an authentic channel. Skillshare is an online learning community filled with all types of online classes, not just how to build a YouTube channel. There's tons of classes you can take for creative people looking to learn more about thousands of topics. You're able to pick and choose your classes, your own schedule, and even your own skill level. It's a pretty neat program. And the first 1,000 people to try, click the link in the description, will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore the entire program yourself. Thank you very much. Skillshare, let's get on with the video. So hey everyone in the YouTube world, my name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Welcome to flipping $400 to a Ferrari. Today, I'm gonna go over this 2019 Cadillac XTS, and we're also gonna run the numbers to see where we're actually at and how we got to owning a car from 2019 for just $400. Now, what does that mean? Well, when I first started my business, I only had $400. I don't need a new business, I want a Ferrari. So with that $400, I'm gonna start my business all over again from scratch, starting with one single car and work my way up to affording a Ferrari with just that original $400 investment. This 2019 Cadillac is part of that original $400 investment. So just in about six months time and a little bit of part-time work, because this is a side gig, this is kind of a side hobby, aside from my dealership, I am already up to a 2019 Cadillac. And this is where it gets fun. The Cadillac is already sold and I get to go spend some serious money on some real fun cars now. We're not just selling Honda Accords and Mercury Milans anymore. We can start spending some real coin on some real fun cars. So next video, I'm actually gonna go to the auction with the cash that I got from this car to try to find some fun stuff. So let's start this one out and check it out. So it has 91,000 miles. What took me a little while to get is the glove box. That's a button right there. And it's not really a button, it's a touch button. Everything about this car is touch, including the volume. So you just scroll down. How do I do it? Oh, there we go. We do that to scroll down. I can do that to turn it off. Everything, it's not a button. It's just touch. It's like a touch screen on everything. Identical to what the Escalade is. It took me a while to figure it out. But the car is so nice. And it looks like the seats have never been sat in aside from the driver's seat. I have both keys with both remotes and a remote starter. I've been using this car for a week and really, really enjoying it. The only thing is it kind of smells like cigarettes as Forrest Gump would say. And honestly, in 2021, I didn't really think people are still smoking in cars, but apparently they are, especially in Cadillacs. I always thought that was an old person Cadillac thing. This car was owned by a union rep that used to just drive around and it's kind of funny to think that a union rep driving a Cadillac smoking cigarettes. That's very like 1984, not so much 2021. Check out the size of this sunroof. Now, it's a gloomy day in New Hampshire and it's raining, but it can't rain all the time. If you guys get that movie quote, my mind will be blown. So here you can see I'm asking $27,000. And if I wanted to wait it out, I could probably get close to that. I'm pretty much right around retail value at $27,000, but... I wanna move fast, I wanna turn and burn. I wanna keep moving this process along so I can make more videos and keep moving closer to the Ferrari. Now selling cars in the $27,000 price range is a lot more difficult because not everybody has $27,000 and they're a lot more picky, so I wholesaled that car. I sold it to another dealer for $19,750. Now I paid 
18,249. So let's do some real quick math. I had 18,5, I paid 18,249. I didn't have to do anything to it besides clean it. I sold it for 19,750. That's a $1,501 profit. And I also have a $250 balance that I didn't spend, which means I have $20,001 to go to the auction and spend and hopefully find something fun. So if you think about it, I started with $400 six months ago. I have $20,000. If you were doing this as a side project, as a hobby, that's a hell of a side business. That's a lot of cash to make in just a few short months. So let's go to the shop and see how we came across this $20,000. How do we come up with it? Where did it come from? Now this is my overflow lot and that excursion diesel power stroke has sold and there is my Audi that is gonna be such a fun video. So make sure to stay tuned for that one because I am just absolutely going to abuse that all road out in the woods and see what a quarter of a million mile Audi all road can handle in the trails. And one other sad thing, you'll notice my Duramax has no front window tint because in New Hampshire apparently you can carry a gun around without a permit, you have no sales tax, no income tax, you don't have to wear a seatbelt, you can live free or die, but you can't have front window tint. I got pulled over yesterday because you can't have window tint in New Hampshire and it's breaking my heart that I have to do this right now. I can't, I hate having to do it. Breaks my heart every time. Tint is off, glue is off so the windows don't bind and stick. That was heartbreaking. So now's the fun part. I'm actually doing something I haven't done at all yet to this point in my Ferrari flip video, I'm going to go through everything, everything we've done start to finish. We've done 12 cars in eight months and the idea is quick turnovers. So yes, I could have made more profit per car, but then end up hanging on to them longer and longer isn't really conducive to this situation. I'm trying to move as fast as possible and maximize my profit as efficiently as possible. So I'm trying to move these things quickly. So a lot of times I'm selling them cheap. Some I've even taken a loss. So let's go over what I have bought and sold thus far, including prices. So we started with a Chevy Malibu for $400. After all said and done, I owned it for $670, we sold it for $1,200. That's a net profit of $530 on that one car. So now we have $1,200 to spend at the auction. We bought the Honda Accord for $795. After all said and done, all expenses, my cost of goods sold was $965. We sold it for $1,600. That leaves a net profit of $635. We then bought the Mercury Milan for $745. After all expenses, we had $895 into it, sold it for $2,000. That's a net profit of $1,105. We had the Cadillac SRX, which we had some serious transmission issues. I sat on it for a while, and then I ended up turning it for a loss, even though I did end up fixing the transmission. We paid $23.25. I owned it for $27.20. We sold it for 2,050, that is a loss of $670. Then we bought the Equinox, another lemon. That one had some serious transmission problems. I've never liked those Equinoxes to begin with. They have timing chain problems. And this one, we had a transmission problem. We bought it for $2,005. I sold it for $1,395. That's a loss of $710. We then bought the Trailblazer SS with the proceeds of the Chevy Equinox. That's where things really started moving. I bought it for $22.25, which is unreal. After all said and done, I owned it, cost of goods sold, $5,040. We sold it for $10,000. That's a net profit of $4,960. That's unreal. That was the one that really started this thing off well. Then we bought the green Jeep for $8,090. I owned it for $95.31 after wheels, tires, and all the other accessories. We sold it for $12,000. That's a $2,500 profit, $2,469 to be exact. Then we bought the 98 Audi A4. That was by far the easiest one and really the most enjoyable. I really liked that car. $980 I paid. I owned it for $1,180. We sold it for $2,500 like the same week. That's a net profit of $1,320. Then we bought the G35X, which I thought had another transmission problem. Turned out had a broken transmission line. We filled it with fluid. We did a safety. We cleaned it up. We owned that thing for $1,905. Sold it for $3,000. That is a profit of $1,095. We then bought the Camaro. Now I had a lot of extra cash after we bought the Camaro. I bought the Camaro for $77.90 and we bought the Miata. So the Camaro was $77.90 after wheels and tires and everything else, $8,400. 
We sold it for eleven five. That's a profit of three thousand one hundred dollars, and they traded in the Miata for fifteen hundred dollars. It didn't cost me anything except my time, so I own that for about fifteen fifty. We sold it for thirty one hundred dollars the next day. That is a profit of one thousand five hundred fifty dollars. Then we had eighteen thousand dollars to go to the auction. I ended up buying a nineteen Cadillac XTS four. So we bought that nineteen Cadillac with just an original investment of four hundred dollars. Imagine that. We had a 2019 Cadillac in under eight months, starting out with just $400. Now let's go over the real numbers because I did sell the Cadillac. We ended up owning it for $18,240. We sold it for $19,750 the next week. Not a lot of profit for tying up almost $20,000. We made $1,510. That's still great in just a week. Now here's the real numbers. This is where it's important. All said and done, we bought and sold 12 cars. We spent $53,101 total so far. Now we really only started with $400, but we did make money and we lost money and we made money and it cost money to make money, but we used the money we made and reinvested it into more cars. I hope that makes sense to you. We have a gross sales of $70,095 in eight months with a net profit, are you ready for this? A net profit in eight months as a side hobby, $18,274 which means that Cadillac was essentially free or just $400. I paid $18,190. I have a net profit so far of $18,274. That's unreal. In eight months as a side hobby, you know, I'm still running all of my businesses. I'm still making all these YouTube videos. I'm doing this very, very slowly, easily, and calculated. But you can see how your profit starts to dwindle. Like Just because you're spending more doesn't mean you're actually making more. On the 98 Audi, I made $1,095. On the 19 Cadillac, I made $1,500. So yeah, I spent like four times as much to make the same amount of money. I could have taken that and bought four cars for five grand instead of one car for 20 and made a profit on four cars instead of one. I hope you're following me. But more headaches with cheaper cars. The Cadillac, I literally didn't do anything besides clean it. So now I have $20,000, but here's the cool thing. I have $20,000 to go to the auction next week. I'm gonna take German with me. It's not just me, it's not just me doing everything. I wanna show you how other people can do it as well. I'm gonna take German with me and teach him how to buy and sell cars at the auction, which means you're also gonna learn how to buy and sell cars like I do. So make sure to stay tuned for the next video where German gets to spend $20,000. Yes, I'm gonna give him 20 grand and see what he can come up with towards this Ferrari flip. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe down below. If you're not caught up on this playlist, you can wait to the end of this video to follow the entire playlist. To see what we do day to day, like every day, like today I sold my Audi R8. You won't know that until two videos from now unless you follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook with the direct links right down below. Stay tuned to the very end to see what the best recommended video for you is. Otherwise, I'll see you at the auction. Have a great day. Adios.